Let's make this project progress tracker in three minutes. If you don't have time right now, save this for later. I'm pasting in my milestones and task list just for time's sake, but add whatever you want. And then let's title this 2024 projects. And then let's list out project one, project two, and project three. And then we will do some formatting. So we're going to merge and center this, which is okay because we're not doing any filtering or anything like that. And then let's make that larger and bold and let's do a gray because we're going to change our project charts to a color and that will make them stand out more. So we're just doing some more formatting and then let's widen these columns. Next up, we want to add our checkboxes. So to do that, select all of the cells where you want checkboxes to be and then insert and click on checkbox. Then let's add a border to this because eventually we're going to remove grid lines. So I like to do like a lighter gray than just the black. So let's change that color. And now we've got it. And I actually shouldn't have put checkboxes on this first line, but it's very easy to just press delete. Next up is our chart. And so you can find this template in comments so that you don't have to worry about the formulas or you could take a screenshot. But what we're trying to do is use that percentage that we're going to add in B3. And then we're doing a column chart type that's set from zero to one because we want to go from zero to a hundred percent. And I just need to backspace there, but there you go. And make sure you use the curly brackets. It might be hard to see, but that makes all the difference. Then we're gonna add our percentage in. So we're doing a count if this entire column of checkboxes, whatever's true or marked as checked, compared to a count A of all of the possible checkboxes. So that's going to give us our percent to total. And then we need to do some formatting. So let's change that to a percent. And I don't like as many decimal points, so I'm going to remove one and then we'll center that. Same thing, let's make this a little bit bigger so it's easy to see. And then we'll drag that all the way over so that our charts are ready to go. Now let's change some colors here. We could do like a blue, green, purple, but make it whatever makes sense for you. And then I'm also going to change the color on the chart. And notice that this is a font color. It is not the fill color. So then as you check the boxes, you're getting your chart. And if you check all of them, it will go all the way up to the top for 100%. So let's just change these. See if you don't, they're black, so you could leave them either way. But if you do fill, as I just did, it does the background and we don't want that. So you might not want all of the tasks to be present for each project. So you can go through and delete the checkboxes you don't want and update your formula to just count the total of checkboxes that you actually have. And then you can highlight these and gray them out if you like, and then maybe remove the border. And now your project three is all of the tasks minus those four. And now let's remove the grid line so this looks a little bit better, test it out, and there's your project tracker.